use sigma notation. This is uh, the summation symbol to write a sum, and then I will just let n starts at one. Okay, two things to keep in mind. The first thing is look at what is changing and what is not changing. The second thing is don't be afraid to make a mistake. Write something down and then adjust your answer accordingly. Just like writing an essay, don't expect to type everything at once and then get a perfect essay. You have to go back, keep editing the essay to make it look better and better. Likewise, in this type of problem, first of all, just trust yourself. Believe what is true. Write it down and then test i equals to one, i equals to two. If that doesn't fit the the sum, change it. Okay, so. The first problem, notice that the 5, 5, 5, these are not changing. These ones are not changing. So what is changing? The second number, the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way to 15, this is changing. So that tells me there are 15 terms from 1 to 15. So what I'm going to do next is I am going to write summation where i goes from 1 and then this is always a 5, this is always a 1, and then the i is changing. And then how many terms are there? There are 15 terms. All right, and then the second problem, the 1 is not changing, the exponent is not changing, the 6 is not changing, but the numerator is changing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there are 6 terms. Let's match the color first. So this is summation. Oh, that doesn't match. Uh, how about this? So that is a summation. Okay, whatever. I equals to 1 and then to 6 and then we have a square bracket 1 minus this is changing I divided by 6 and then raised to the second power. So how many terms are there? There are 6 terms from 1 to 6. So 1 minus I divided by 6 to the second power. And then the next problem is interesting because the sign alternates and then we have fractions, but the first number is an integer. So another way to write the one is uh, you can do that. You can change that as one over two to the zero power minus one over two to the first plus one over two to the second minus one over two to the third and then keep on going. And then the last term, 128, is 2 to the seventh power. Okay, uh, there are two ways to answer this question. Uh, the first way that I will do it is I will just let i equals to 1, i equals to 2, i equals to 3, and then i equals to 4, i, and then all the way to i equals to, i equals to um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this should be i equals to 8. There are 8 terms if you force to start at 1. And then this is just equals to, you have a summation, i goes from 1 to 8. There are, there are, um, there are eight, 8 terms, goes from 1 to 8. And then what do you have? You have negative 1. So what I'm going to do is I will just try i equals to 1 first. So what happened when i is equals to 1? When i is equals to 1, you have a negative. But this is all positive. So i is not going to work. Then we have to adjust accordingly. How about we add 1 to it? When i is equals to 1, we have uh, 1 plus 1 equals to 2. Negative 1 to the second power is positive. But when i is equals to 2, 2 plus 1 is 3 that is odd power then you get a negative all right so that is going going to work and then 1 divided by 2 over how about i minus 1 when i is equals to 1 you have a zero power i equals to 2 you have a first power i equals to 3 you have a second power there is another way to answer this question so there are eight terms another way to answer this is i equals to 0, i equals to 1, i equals to 2, i equals to 3, and then all the way to i equals to 7. There are still 8 terms because when you count from 0 to 1, you count the 0 as well, then there are 8 terms. Just write this down. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are 8 numbers over there from 0 to 7. And then this will be summation. i goes from 0 to 7. And then this time we will have a negative 1 to the i. So when i is equals to 0, 
you have a uh, negative one to the zero power is positive, and then a uh, negative one to the first power is negative, so you have a negative over here. And then the rest, you have one divided by two to the, obviously, this is uh, this is just one, one half i. You can put the i for the whole thing, because one, it doesn't matter what, what power you raise that to, that is just always equals to one. So that is another way to answer this. So you have both raised to the first power. You can do negative one half raised to the i. I think that is more clear, simple. If you go from zero to seven, this way makes everything look so simple. And then the next problem, the top one never ch never change, and then the bottom you have one two three, all the way to ten, and then you have three four five. All the way to 12 okay we let i starts at 1 i equals to 2 i equals to 3 and then according to the pattern this is i equals to 10 and then this will be the summation where i goes from 1 to 10 there are 10 terms then the top is equals to 1 and then uh, this is equals to i the next number is always 2 more than the i then this will be i plus 2 then that is the summation of the second problem. And then the last one, the last one is not very obvious if you are not familiar with the factorial. So this, you have i equals to one, i equals to two, i equals to three, i equals to four, i equals to five, and i equals to six. So what is that equal to? This is the summation. Uh, the bottom, do you see that uh, uh, the bottom is actually 2 raised to the i power. So 2 to the first power is 1, 2 to the second power is 4, third power is 3, fourth power is 4, and then the fifth power, 2 to the fifth is 32, and then 2 to the sixth power, 2 to the sixth power is equals to 64. And then in the numerator, the numerator looks like an i factorial to me. So 1 factorial is 1, 2 factorial is 2, uh, and then three factorial. Hey, here, here. Huh. You know what? Ah, you know what? Six, six is right. Three factorial is six. Three factorial. So three factorial is three factorial. Here. Ah. I should not change anything to confuse you. Three factorial is three times two times one equals to six. And then 4 factorial, 4, 3, 2, 1 is equals to 24. And then 5 factorial is 120. And then uh, we have a 6 factorial. So that will be a 6 factorial. That will be a 120 times 6, which is equals to 720. So 6 factorial. So 6 factorial, you can calculate that uh, really quick. 6 factorial is equals to 720. So this, the final answer is you have i factorial divided by 2 to the i, and this is from i equals to 1 to i equals to 6, since there are 6 terms. Alright, so that is the end of this video. If you like the way I explain sigma notation problem, give this video a thumbs up, give my channel a subscribe, Truly appreciate help, your help and support. Trust me, it is worthwhile coming back to visit more math content. As always, I will meet you all in a different lesson. Signing out.